Psalm 27 verse 1 to 3 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for being my Saviour. You are the light that saved me from darkness, and your light is so holy that it dispels the evil of this world. I bless your holy name, because with you on my side, I have nothing to fear. I have nothing to be afraid of, because the Lord is the strength of my life. And so I will remain steadfast in faith, steadfast in hope, because you are a God who strengthens me when things are difficult. You have given me the gift of the Holy Spirit to be my comfort and my strength. And so I thank you for supporting me, for upholding me and sustaining me through the daily struggles of life. So I declare that I look to you, Jehovah, for my strength. I will not trust in the ways of man, in the ways of this world, but instead I will set my eyes on you. In this I will be confident that you will deliver me, you will strengthen me from the devil and from my enemies. You are an almighty God, my stronghold and also my safe place of protection. If God is for me, then who can be against me? And so I declare your word, though an army may encamp around me, and war may rise up against me, my heart shall not fear in the name of Jesus, because the Lord will protect me and keep me in a safe place. Psalm 27 verse 4 to 6. One thing that I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me, he shall set me high upon a rock, and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord, Father, I pray that you would birth in me a strong desire to be in your presence, to chase after you and to know you more. Birth in me a hunger to seek you fervently, to seek you wholeheartedly. Lord Jesus, I desire to see your beauty in my life, your goodness, your graciousness, and your mercy. All good things come from you, and so, Father, I pray that I may continue to be blessed and to experience your love, your power, and your mercy in my life. Father, your word says, my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. 
I pray this to be true, Lord. May you bless me and elevate me, so that those who seek to destroy me may see your hand at work in my life. And just as David said, I will sing praises to the Lord. Each and every day, I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict me and lead me to sing praises to you, Lord, to be thankful for all that you do in my life. Psalm 27, verse 7 to 14. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me. O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Lord Jesus, just as your word tells me, I will wait on you, Father, and I will seek you with my whole heart, my mind, my soul, and everything within me. I pray that you would have mercy on me, Lord. In your love there is no fear. Your perfect love expels all fear. I confess today that in my life I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will see his kindness and the blessings of the Lord will fall upon me and my family. I pray that you would teach me your ways, Lord. You are my only help and my refuge who has promised never to leave me nor forsake me. Your word says, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. I thank you for this promise, Lord Jesus, and I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide me and direct me today. Teach me, Holy Spirit. Teach me the ways of God. You are an almighty source of revelation my source of wisdom in this life and my source of power. Guide me in all of my daily choices, in all of my decision making. I pray that you would open my ears so that I may discern your voice. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me to make wise decisions and to lead me along the best path for my life according to your will. Father, I submit to you all of my thoughts and my desires. I pray that you would take control and may your peace invade my heart. In your presence there is a quietness that I desire. There is a confidence that is pure a confidence that rises up within me because you are a God who is all-powerful and everlasting. I lift up my faith today and I will forever place my confidence in you because I know that I will be victorious in the end in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I invite your peace, a peace that is divine and holy, to rest on my heart and my emotions. I pray that I will find comfort daily in your loving arms. May I find comfort under the leadership and guidance of the Holy Spirit. I bless your holy name for listening to this prayer. I glorify you Lord Jesus. May your name be lifted high above every other name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.